How's it going everyone? My name's Andrew, and if you didn't know already, if you didn't know already, I'm a huge soccer fan. But you know, being a soccer fan in America isn't always the best thing, you know? Um, even though it has gotten better over years, like it really has gotten a lot better. But still, trying to find to watch trying to watch certain games is with good quality is sometimes difficult, especially if you don't have certain subscriptions to certain networks. Um, I see all the sport packages. Like when I had DirecTV, I had a, I got a sports package. I saw a bunch of like you know baseball, football, and hockey, basketball, a bunch of other sports packages that they could offer. So you, you don't have to miss a game. And I'm like, you know, I get kind of jealous. Like, why can't I have that for soccer? Now I know that the rights for soccer are are hard. Like these companies have to pay a lot of money just to show certain games or certain leagues. But still, it's 2017. Come on. Anyway, um, I know it's not annoying and, or even spoiled saying that I, I want all these um, offers for soccer here so I can watch, but you know, this sport has, has been like rooted into my life since I was young. I started playing soccer at a very young age. It was part of my upbringing, but um, I never got any farther than middle school because, you know, I have chronic asthma and I could barely run like more than 10 minutes. So I was cheated up from the sport from the start. Thanks, lungs, you know, for being lame. Anyway, back to what, what I wanted to talk about. Um, I put together three things that I think could help the sport grow in this country. Hopefully become as popular as you know American football is here. Okay, so before I go any further, I know soccer is a word frowned upon to the rest of the world because the rest of the world calls this soccer football. But I'm American. I live in America since I was born, so I'm going to refer to it as soccer. And if that makes you angry, you know I'm sorry, but it's just normal for me. Okay, so let's get let's get right to it. So number one, the USA national team success. You know, with every win, the national team gets, whether it's a World Cup run or a friendly match or you know even a Gold Cup, the soccer grows more and more with the American people. The farther we get in competitions, the more people are prone to turn the turn their attention to the team. Um, in 2010, viewership for all USA games in the group stages averaged out to 11.1 million with USA versus England having the biggest crowd out of all three with 17.1 million viewers. Now for the 2014 World Cup, the US pulled together its biggest crowd for soccer match ever with 24.7 million people watching uh, the US take on Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal. <laughs> um, that is the same number of people who watched the 2010 World Cup final between Spain and the Netherlands. So that, that, you know, that's a big number. But it only took a one year for that soccer viewing record to be broken, and it broke because when Carly Lloyd and the Carly, yeah, Carly Lloyd and the women's national team defeated Japan in the 2015 Women's World Cup final, that raked in around 25.4 million viewers, which is an amazing number of people that watched this match, and that made it that I think till this day that's the most watched soccer match ever in this country. Of course, you know, these numbers don't include views from big social gatherings like bars or, you know, other social events that would have big audiences watching on a, on a big screen even. To me, these numbers sh show me that more and more people are turning in, are turning their attention and interest onto soccer. And that is why I think that the more games and the further the USA teams go in the competitions, the more people are likely to watch and support this team and maybe change their view on the sport in general, hopefully. Alright, number two, the youth systems. Um, young kids playing soccer is very common here in the States. Um, you know, it's not weird, everyone does it when, they, when they're when they young. But soccer's bad reputation sometimes dampers that. You know, most kids play soccer as, a, as kids and then eventually move on to another sport or stop playing sports in general. You know, I think sometimes the reason is maybe sometimes the kids don't even want to play in the first place, but their parents push them to play a sport, you know, to get out there, get out of the house put that DS down and go play some some soccer so it's no surprise that in a couple of years or even after one season they get bored and you know they uh, leave it all behind another reason is I think maybe sometimes the parents or, or kids even want them to leave the sport because of its low popularity and low respect for the sport this country you know has um, so they go on to play more like Americanized games like you know football or baseball which draw bigger crowds, bigger stadiums, and bigger success here in this country. But youth systems in this country are not all that bad. 
I found out that there are actually currently 150 club academies across the whole country. That's way more academies than I thought we had. From what I researched, these academies have had good success in developing pros like that we have today, such as you know DeAndre Yedlin, who was from the Seattle Sounders Academy, Matt Miazga, who was from like the Red Bulls, who's now at Chelsea, which is awesome, and Kellen Acosta, who's you know tearing it up right now. He's gonna be a big star from FC Dallas Academy. Yeah, I know some of these players are not world class by any means, but you know they're still young and show great potential to become great players. And if we keep investing our youth as we have recently done so, I believe that we can consistently mold and produce world-class players year after year, just like Germany and Spain do. I mean, they do it all the time. You can name a bunch of Germany players, sorry, German players, and a bunch of Spaniard players, and all that top ten are all from like, their academies, and they're all, they're all world-class to this day. And there's more coming, I mean, for real. Anyway, let's go to number three. And this is the biggest one. I think this is the biggest one, the biggest factor in helping this, this sport grow in this country. And that's you. Yes, you the person are the best hope this sport has of becoming a powerhouse in this country. If there's one thing this country knows, it's showing passion and, and how to support a team. American football and baseball are sports with huge history in this country and that, that they've become rooted into the seams of American culture. I see passionate football fans and baseball fans and all a bunch of other sports fans here every day supporting and defending their team till their last breath it reminds me of the way other countries support you know their own soccer teams for example in England England has so many clubs from the Premier League to the English Com English conference which is basically the fifth tier of English soccer and with every game I watch I see thousands of fans turning up for even the smallest club no matter how big or how small or how successful the team is, fans are always out supporting. And we, we do that here. When I, and I think if we do it for soccer, it would really, you know, change the way this whole country thinks about soccer. And I get it. Soccer isn't for everyone. And I'm not saying it has to be. So not everyone will be as passionate. And that's okay. I mean, I don't particularly like baseball. But when they play for, you know, the country, in the, like for the USA and like, Olympics and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, not baseball. I meant basketball. Let's backtrack. So when when they when the basketball players play in the Olympics on, under the USA name, they have all like the the main stars there. You best believe that I'm there supporting um, the USA team in the Olympics. Even if I don't like basketball, I'm still supporting this country. You know, America loves to be number one. That's no surprise. In everything that they do, they love to be number one. Um, so it's no surprise to me that supporting a team or even a sport where we aren't particularly good at can be a little um, unsettling for most people because um, we're used, we like to win and we want to win everything and our soccer team you know, <laughs> doesn't at this moment really doesn't. So I ask you, the fan, go support your local MLS team. If there isn't one in your state, you know, just pick one. It's good to support something. At least, at least you're supporting the league itself putting money into the league that they that they could use to develop more and more teams which they have been I'll make a video I'll make a video about MLS history like you know later on but anyway you know have your friends come over and watch a game go buy some jerseys if you can if you have the money to spend go buy some merchandise um, watch some of the European soccer I promise if you like MLS soccer then you're gonna love those too it's just so much intensity that that really pays off. Play some, you know, play some FIFA. Go out and buy some FIFA. Everyone loves FIFA, unless you're like a Pez player. But who who likes Pez? <laughs> you know, introduce your friends to the sport who aren't really into it. You know, introduce introduce it to them. Um, get those negative views of soccer out of your head from people that have all the stuff that people people have told you. Just get it out of your head. After all, soccer is known as the beautiful game, and everyone should get to see why it's called that. But anyway. That's my top three things that I think can help this sport grow in this country. So what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? Did I leave something out? Am I totally like off key? You know, let me know down below. And feel free to leave a like and you know share this video with your friends and hopefully get some of their ideas too. Oh yeah. And don't forget to subscribe because I got some more soccer stuff coming out real soon. Thanks so much for watching guys. See ya.